Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for May 14th. Today's devotion is titled Joy and Wisdom. The Bible reading is from Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verses 14 to 17. And this is not all that is meaningless in our world. In this world, good people are often treated as though they were wicked, and wicked people are often treated as though they were good. This is so meaningless. So I recommend having fun because there is nothing better for people in this world than to eat, drink, and enjoy life. That way they will experience some happiness along with all the hard work God gives them under the sun. In my search for wisdom and in my observation of people's burdens here on earth, I discovered that there is ceaseless activity day and night. I realized that no one can discover everything God is doing under the sun. Not even the wisest people discover everything, no matter what they claim. Sweetly fragrant cherry tree blossoms flood Japan with exquisite pale and vibrant pinks every spring, delighting the senses of residents and tourists alike. The short-lived nature of the blossoms cultivates a keen awareness in the Japanese to savor the beauty and scent while they linger. The very brevity of the experience heightens the poignancy of it. They call this deliberate enjoyment of something that will change quickly, mono no awero. Not, not awero. Mono no aware. <laughs> As humans, it's understandable that we'd want to seek and prolong feelings of joy. Yet the reality that life is riddled with hardship means we must cultivate the ability to view both pain and pleasure through a lens of faith in a loving God. We needn't be overly pessimistic, nor should we fashion ourselves an unrealistically sunny outlook on life. The book of Ecclesiastes offers a helpful model for us. Though this book is sometimes thought to be a catalog of negative statements, the same King Solomon who wrote that everything is meaningless also encouraged his readers to find joy in the simple things in life, saying, there is nothing better for a person under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Joy comes when we ask God to help us know wisdom and learn to observe all that God has done in both beautiful seasons and in difficult ones, knowing that neither is permanent on this side of heaven. What kind of season are you currently in? How can you find joy in it? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.